Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the songs Elton John gave away. Number 10, Snookaroo, Ringo Starr. I was born in the north of England, I was raised in a working town. If you've checked out our lists on songs written by George Harrison and John Lennon, you'll already know that Ringo has a history of borrowing songs from his peers. That's the same situation here, where Elton John lent his talents to the legendary Beatles drummer. The song is actually based on Ringo himself, depicting a cheerful, carefree fella from the north. What's more, Elton even provided the piano for the piece, among other smaller roles. It's a match made in heaven and an upbeat tune that will brighten your mood. Number 9. Sweetheart on Parade, Judy Collins. Everybody loves to love the local girl made good. Sweetheart on Parade is an interesting one, as Elton originally wrote it for himself. As such, a demo exists of John performing the song. However, it wasn't he who released it to the world, it was American singer Judy Collins. Perhaps the reason why it was handed off was because the song is from a woman's perspective, and so Judy singing the song is somewhat more fitting. It has all the makings of one of John's more sombre and heart-wrenching tracks, and Colin's powerful vocals certainly do it justice. That everybody loves me, everyone but me. Number 8. 60 years on, Hayden Wood. Who walk me down to the church when I'm 60 years of age? You'll be forgiven for not knowing who Hayden Wood is. After all, the New Zealand artist didn't exactly break into the mainstream with this song when it was released in early 1970. As is the case with a lot of the songs on this list, this song was given to Wood by both Elton John and his longtime collaborator Bernie Taupin. My rosary has broken, my beads have all slipped through. Despite the awesome backing Wood had with the track, it was ultimately up to Elton to bring more ears to it when he released his own version of the song later that very same year. Talk about being overshadowed. And the future you're giving me holds nothing for the girl. I've no wish to be living 60 years old. Number 7. Empty Sky, Roy Everett. I'm not red, In a case almost identical to our previous entry, Roy Everett was approached by John and Torpin with this now legendary song, Empty Sky. This obscure British singer made an amicable attempt at doing their songwriting justice but in the end, it wasn't quite up to snuff. But no man ever flies from this place. Released in May of 1969, it's interesting to see the genesis of Elton's now more recognised version. As any Elton John mega fan will tell you, his first LP was actually Empty Sky, which released in June of 1969. That means Roy's version had less than a single month to stand out for itself. Number 6. Hero on Parade, Albert Hammond. Everybody loves to love the hero on parade. Many fans will recognise that Albert and Elton have collaborated once before. When Aretha Franklin released the 1989 album Through the Storm, the song on it with the same name was a duet with Elton John. This track was actually written by Albert Hammond. Perhaps this was a thank you to John because years prior, in 1982, he lent his writing abilities to Albert for this song. Hammond 
Hang on a minute, we hear you say. This song sounds very familiar. Well, that's because it's the beta version of Judy Collins' Sweetheart on Parade that was featured earlier on this list. If everybody loves me, where are they tonight? Number 5. Skyline Pigeon, Roger James Cook. Turn me loose from your hands Let me fly high to distant lands There's a good chance you're already familiar with this song as being one of Elton John's. After all, he did release it in 1972. However, many will remember it more as being released by Roger James Cook much earlier, in 1968. Bye! Skyline pigeon fly Towards the dreams you left so very far behind This hymn-like song tells of a pigeon flying free from the grip of a human. Preferring the Elton John version of the track is definitely justified, but this original release really is worth checking out. Towards the dreams you left so very, so very far Number 4. Easy as Life, Tina Turner featuring Angelique Kijo. This is the moment when the gods expect me. The late great Tina Turner was given a number of songs by British artists in her years, including David Bowie. In 1999, it was Elton's turn to link up with the legendary songstress for the Ada concept album, which we'll get to in a later entry. It's a song only Turner could pull off as her powerful vocal work demands you sit down and listen. All I have to do is to forget how much I love him. Depicting a scene in which the narrator has to give up on her love after being caught by her overbearing father, it's a truly impassioned piece. You have Disney to thank for making this one happen. Number 3. Let Me Be Your Car, Rod Stewart. May not seem the ideal when you look into my eyes. Okay, this one might be more common knowledge than some of the others on our list, but we simply can't talk about borrowed Elton John songs without bringing up this one. This track is Boogie Personified and was originally written by Elton with Rod in mind. Let me be your car for a wild child. Stewart eagerly accepted it, and it was released in his hit album Smiley, which reached number one in the UK charts. It may surprise you to hear that it's Elton John performing the backing vocals for this song as well. A demo of the song by Elton John was recorded and was never supposed to see the light of day, but in the end, it was released to the public years later. I'm a be a car, I'll take you Number 2. I Don't Feel Like Dancing, Scissor Sisters. Even if you didn't know John contributed to this one beforehand, you likely said, oh of course, as soon as we said the name. Scissor Sisters dominated the early 2000s with their quirky and bombastic songs, including the likes of Take Your Mama. But I Don't Feel Like Dancing has to be up there with their most recognisable ones. Since they practically sound like an Elton John tribute band, there's likely no surprise that he actually contributed to their discography with this smash hit. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Number 1. My Strongest Suit – Spice Girls Anywhere, 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 anywhere. 
Some of you may remember that Eldon John once wrote the songs for a musical titled Ada. However, before that premiered on Broadway, an album of all the tracks was released, featuring many famous faces, including the 90s girl group powerhouse Spice Girls. I would rather wear a barrel than conservative apparel because dresses always be my strongest. This concept album proved to be a success, and the girls definitely made the song their own, with many fans recognising the song more so as being one of theirs, rather than being attached to a production. What's your all-time favourite Elton John track? Let us know in the comments.